Hey everybody, welcome to Shrey Nurse Stuff. This is your girl Tway. Now before I begin today, I'd like to do something a little bit different. Since this is a new YouTube channel, I like to give away one of my collectibles at the end of this to my new subscribers as a thank you. Okay, so if you would like to win one of my collectibles, please stay tuned. Today, I am going to be unboxing the Enterprise NX-01. That is the Archer's ship. This again is Eagle Moss because they make great ships. We have the ship and I have the magazine as well. This is an extra large and a special edition. Let's get started. So actually, Enterprise series is uh, again one of my favorites. I think though, they canceled it right as when it started to get really good and it started to get a lot of viewership. So whoever made that decision should be, should have been fired or dragged down the streets. Anyways, wow, just okay, so just opening this box, the Aztec on this ship, it's gorgeous, like, you mean, wow, and it's it's really heavy because it is a XL. Look at the Aztec on this ship, it's really beautiful. It makes, it really makes the ship come alive um, versus how like the original ship is, where there's no, there's no Aztec on it at all, so. This goes in this way. Wow, very heavy piece and very good looking. Now this ship, because this is one of the first ships, now NX, by the way, in modern military term is Naval Experimental. I don't know what this would stand for, but probably that, okay? When they were developing this particular ship, they were trying to figure out, okay, well, let's go from the Enterprise ship, but then let's go back to 200 years, and what would that look like? So they went to a um, nuclear um, submarine base and took a look and looked at some of their uh, submarines and how they looked. So they really took a lot of those inspiration, which was very, it was very utilitarian. Um, you know, so it was very Spartan and that's kind of what um, inspired them to make this ship. As you can tell in this ship that I'm looking at, it does, it does give you that look. It, it's not very like smooth, um, you know, surface because they were still um, at its early stage of designing ships. This is really well done. Wow, look at the registry right here. And you can see the lines in the ship because they had plating. Remember they were talking about the whole plating? Let me just turn this around real quick. I wanna take a look at the back. Wow, gorgeous. Wow, this this piece, by the way, is so heavy and it's, it's so well done. Look at the different, you can see, you can feel the grooves, right, of the plating. Because remember, they didn't have shields. They have like whole plating, you know. Um, uh, that they use as shields, so so you can you can definitely see that here. And the paint on this is excellent. The Aztec is excellent. Beautiful done, beautifully done. I just want to give you take a look. This is still the back of the ship. Sometimes I like to look at the uh, ships, the underside because it really gives you an idea just how well, how detailed it is. Okay, the nacelles looks really nice. A lot of, um, a lot of grooves on this, a lot of details. Here's on this side, so you can take a look. Now in the magazine, it doesn't talk about the ship very much, um, so you don't get a whole lot of information on the design of this ship, mainly because they this is one of the first ships that they didn't even have a physical model for the show. They because they had CG by then, right? They had CG by then, so they used CG a lot for the show. They didn't even need a physical model, um, but that doesn't um, 
take away how long it took them to actually design this shirt because that was a very challenging moment for them because usually they design things like futuristic looking but in this particular case they were trying to design for um, trying to think back how it would have evolved to what it is today so that you know that process was very challenging this ship is absolutely gorgeous I love the color I love the Aztec I love the plating details the weight on this is excellent okay Ooh. all right so since you stuck around this far please like share and subscribe to the video and right now I'm gonna talk about how you can win one of my collectibles all right so I have this Star Trek ship, as everybody knows, I love Star Trek ship. What's so cool about this little guy right here is that this is from Japan. As you can see in the box, this is all in Japanese. Take a look at this box. These are mystery boxes, actually. Uh, this is completely in Japanese, except, uh, you know, a couple of the English words for Star, Star, uh, Star Trek, Starship. All right, so there's five different versions in these mystery boxes that you can get. One is the Abram Universe um, Enterprise. Then you have the original Enterprise. You have this ship that we just talked about, the NX-01. And then you have the Picard ship, that's the 1701D. And you have the Defiant, but it looks like you get two of the Defiant, you get one of the original ship, and then one uh, cloaked ship, which is kind of cool. Now, I also have two that I already opened. I haven't even shelved them yet, so they're really well taken care of. But one of them is the uh, is the Abram ship, and the other one is the NX-01, the one that we went over today. So all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and then in the comment section, let me know which one you would like to win. One of the ones I opened so you'll get a guaranteed one or one of these mystery box, which I can send you as well. All you gotta do is write in the comment section. I appreciate everybody's support. Now, as this is a new YouTube channel, like I, I talked about, as my subscribers grow, my giveaway will grow as well. As you can see, I have quite a collection. I got all kinds of toys, rare toys. I have comic books, comic book variants. As you can see behind me, I have a few things. This is just a couple of things that I, I tried to display and give you guys an idea of some of the things that I have. Um, but I need your help to get the word out there, get your friend, friends to subscribe. So as my viewership grow, I will be giving away a lot cooler things, okay? so. Go ahead and enter to win. I will announce a winner on April 15th, okay? Um, April 15th, I will announce a winner on my YouTube channel and on who win, and I will be sending you one of these cool toys. You can put them next to a ship that you already have. By the way, these are 1 2500th scale of the new ship, okay? Again, thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Have a good day.